So hey there guys, today we're gonna make a super boring game, popular. So we're gonna be trying to see if we can make this game in 5 minutes. To me this game is useless, but no worth at all. This game is so sad. So, we're gonna just start. First off, um, I made a timer here using Godot. And as you can see, you just set your time, and we're gonna be using eight minutes for now. So in case we don't meet up, okay, we're gonna be making this in eight minutes. So when I click start, we're gonna start the time. Okay, so I already started. Surprisingly, so first thing we want to make our game scene, and another thing we want to make um, our tunnel. Our tunnel by using the area nodes and the collision shape and a sprite there. Okay, so I'm gonna drag that up there and take this tunnel, the PNG, and I'm going to put that in here. Okay, for the collision shape, we're gonna give it a normal, nice rectangle shape to the and we're going to increase the size a bit. Okay, just so that it's going to fill that space there. Okay, and I'm going to save this guy. And we're going to make our player. So it's going to be a kinematic body. And as you do on the normal drill, we're going to make a sprite there. So this guy is going to be an item smile. Well, as you guys know, I like using the Godot logo, but today I was touched. So we're going to increase the size a little bit to about 2, um, we're going to scale it up to 2 and the shape, we're going to give it a circle shape to the plus a normal shape that the shape is not really going to be relevant and again what we want to do is just so that I will not waste um, my time, I'm just going to add a, an area to the and a collision shape attached to it. So this collision shape is also going to be a circle shape and this is what is actually going to be working. So we're going to save this guy as that and the area to d is going to emit a signal to this kinematic body. So first off we're going to make our script and we're going to give this guy a chance to um, do that. So on area intact, all we want to say is um, get underscore parent dot get node okay and class layer slash table well we're going to be having um, a canvas layer in our game scene so I just decided to do that before time I'm gonna say dot show because it's gonna be disappeared at the start of the game so um what else is just what's remaining now is just us to instance um our tunnels so here they are and also i want to add a canvas layer um wow that what i was talking about before and as a child of it a label and a texture okay so the texture is going to be there and we're going to give it this background that I got. Where is it? Oh. Well, for now, since I mistakenly didn't import that background, I'm going to just use this Godot logo. So I'm going to say tile and expand. And here I'm going to hit correct. So it just does that whole stuff. Okay, so the canvas layer is in front of everything as you can see. So we're just going to give that a layout minus one. So everything is in front of it. Then the area to the I'm gonna just be position these guys here and in some other places. Here like here and I'm gonna duplicate this, I'm gonna flip the direction, um sorry flip the rotation to about 180. Yeah, uh something like this. So we're done with our setup. And the last thing we want to do is to instance this kinematic body to this scene. And we're not actually done with the code, we're actually wanting to be moving. So we say, uh, underscore physics process. 
So in the physics process, we say if input the is action is action just press and we want to press the up key and we're gonna say move the y is equal to minus 200. So move the y is something that we're gonna be setting here. We're just gonna say var move equals vector two and here we say move the y is that. Okay, so another thing we want to do is we want to apply it to be falling now. So just say move the y to plus equals five and we want it to be moving from so we say move the x is equal to three hundred. Then at the end here we're gonna say move and slide um with move. Okay, I think we should be done. And here last thing um Q E U E underscore three. So when we touch a guy we're gonna die. Um eternal we're gonna die. So um another thing we wanna add here is our camera. Sorry, um so our player scene is our camera and current take that and the limits we're going to be setting some limits so this guy is going to be zero this guy is going to be zero and bottom is going to be 600 so yeah i should be done i'm just going to test it out nope um i'm going to be losing okay okay i died so you guys just saw that i'm gonna check it out again well, two minutes remaining on the clock, so we basically did this in six minutes. Okay, so I'm just gonna play the game well so that you guys can see it. So here I am. Well, I think the gravity isn't good enough. Okay, so five is too small, I'm gonna give it like a seven or a ten. And we're gonna recheck that. Yep, you can see our Flappy Bird game here is really nice. So one last thing I want to do since we still have time on the clock is um, the label here. I'm going to go to the fonts and I'm going to load a font to this guy. So this guy is going to say you die. Okay, and let's say front case. I'm going to make this guy a center yep and we're pretty much done with our timer with our game and everything is all right so we're done with seconds remaining in the clock well we actually did this in about six minutes so i'm just gonna close that and here you can see the game really nice so here you see you died but it's not meant to be so you can actually go ahead here and just make this invincible and check it again. Well, so we made this in about six minutes, so he died. So this is my favorite game that I made. As I said before, it's a very boring game. I don't like it, but I just had to do it. So see you next time. Um, please subscribe or drop a like. Um, I'm going to see you in my next tutorial. And if you have any suggestions or any questions. You can drop them down in the comment section below. If you want me to do any type of tutorials, you can still drop them in the comment section and I'll pick it up from there. So thank you and goodbye.